Hi everyone, it's Adriana here again for Couture Creations and today I created an art journal page. I'm using Couture Creations alcohol inks, stays in place ink pads and also alcohol ink markers. Come with me and join with me as I create this page, a very simple page using products from Couture Creations. I love creating in my art journal. My art journal is a book that actually it doesn't have fixed pages. You can actually add pages to it and also add different types of medium of different types of papers. I sometimes scrapbook pages on Upo paper. In my journal here it comes with watercolour paper which is this paper here and it's great for stamping on and then I'm just going to attach on top of it um, you'll see I'm using Upo paper and I trimmed it down to fit on this page here which is about half of an A3. So I'm going to create a bit of stamping on the watercolour paper and then on this alcohol synthetic paper I'm going to attach in the middle I'm using some alcohol inks and the beautiful stays in place ink pads. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your ink pads ready for use. I'm using some of the stamps of the Yugo Girl Collection which I'm going to stamp around the edges and also I'm stamping this beautiful flower which I'm going to do that separately on some blending cardstock and colouring in with alcohol ink markers. Now the stays in ink, ink pads, stays in place ink pads are pearlized alcohol ink. It's a permanent ink and when you purchase it, it comes with the re-inker. The actual pad has no ink on it, you have to add in the re-inker. Now it's very important because it's pearlized ink, there is a, a sediment of pearlized powder, mica powder, on the bottom of the re-inker, so you need to give it a really, really good shake. Now there's no need to cover the ink all over the ink pad, you only need half of it or a section of it like I have here. You're just wasting if you ink the whole ink pad because when you're stamping you're only using that section there. So once that's all mixed well you can add in a couple of drops and this is one I've used before and I'm going to re-ink it and you can see I'm just adding droplets of the re-inker ink over that section I did before and included in the packaging of your ink pad you get this plastic spatula which is great for moving the actual re-inker ink around on your sponge pad and that will be absorbed into the sponge pad really really well. Then you just get a baby wipe to clean that um, spatula or plastic spoon uh, because you're going to keep this for the next time and I just usually attach it with some double sided tape on the top of the lid. It comes with a clear lid to keep it nice and moist so that's ready to go for stamping. So this one here is brand new, I've never used this one. So the other one was Forest Green, stays in place ink pad and this one here is called Mint Green. It's a gorgeous colour and again this is how I create getting ready and priming the actual ink pad. This is a great way um, of using this beautiful pearlized alcohol ink. You can be used on most surfaces, porous and non-porous surfaces, and you just have to leave it to dry. If it is a porous surface, it will be absorbed. If it's a non-porous surface, it will take a few minutes to actually dry. So as you can see, I've never used this ink pad before, the mint green, so I'm just adding a bit of color of the ink re-inker onto the ink pad and then with the plastic spatula I'm just moving that around to absorb into the ink pads like so. Really quick and easy and this will last quite a while until I have to reuse it again. The thing is you don't need a lot of this ink and once you done primed it once you find that you just can actually sometimes add bit of blending solution and that primes the ink as well because there's a lot of ink put into that little ink pad.
So now I'm ready to stamp around my paper. Just a quick tip on so you don't lose those little white spatulas. I put a glue spot onto the lid of my stays in place ink pad and that leaves me the, the adhesive to actually leave that little spatula there so it doesn't so I don't lose it. Okay, so there I have my two ink pads ready to stamp. I also am using another Stays in Place ink pad later on called Chocolate Sprinkles and that's a nice colour too and all of these are pearlized. So first of all I'm going to stamp directly onto my watercolour cardstock, that beautiful leaf stamp and this will absorb straight into my paper without any any ha hassle. It's quite quick and easy and I'm using a print uh, stamping block to secure it in my hand and pressing it down. Quick and easy. So this colour I'm using is the mint green stays in place ink pad. I can't show you exactly how beautiful it is because it's really really pretty. It's got a pearlized sheen to it and that's the unique features of these alcohol ink pads. They've got a pearlized finish to them. It's quite unique. Now that's all stamped. I'm now going to color the background of my alcohol synthetic paper. I'm placing a couple of the colors of alcohol inks with some blending solution and using a brush I'm just swishing that around to create a beautiful background. Now there's no right or wrong, I'm just spritzing a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to move the colour around, just to give it a background instead of pure white I've got a beautiful green alcohol synthetic paper background. And I'm leaving that to dry before I do any stamping. I have all the colours I've used of all my products as well in the description below but please visit Couture Creations dot com dot au for more information on all the products and the colors that are available in all these products I've used. So once that is completely dry and I'm finished with creating that beautiful background I'm now going to stamp with the mint green and also with the forest green stays in place ink pad around the edges of my alcohol ink synthetic paper. Instead of a brush, you can use also a, a deluxe heartfelt stamp felt stamp applicator. This is a great tool of creating some wonderful textures and some bubble effects on the edges of the alcohol synthetic paper. So here I have the forest green stays in place ink pad, my leaf stamp on my stamping block and I'm just going around the edges and just randomly stamping all around the edge. quite humid in my craft room today so this ink is drying up really really fast so it depends on the environment and also the climate and where you live of course if it's in a colder climate it may take longer to dry. To clean your stamp pad I'm using the stamp cleaner from Couture Creations. I've also got this stamp which is like a little circled uh, image of from the homely florals collection. It's a stamp set and in there there's this little circle that looks like a stitch circle, like a little flower. I'm just using the chocolate sprinkles stays in place ink pad and just randomly throwing that and stamping that all over my page as well. 
just to throw in some color and dimension. I also did some more stamping around the edges and then I'm now going to add my colored images once I've stamped them on some blending card paper. I'm going to use alcohol inks to color in the flowers and the leaves and adding them onto my project. So now I'm after this I'm going to use a blending cardstock and I'm stamping randomly a couple of images of the beautiful flower from the Ugoku collection and some of the leaves. I'm using the outline ink pad which is specifically used for when you're using colouring in with the alcohol ink markers. And I've used a couple of colours and I'm using the effortless blending combination to create some wonderful textures and colouring in of the leaves and the flowers. These stamps also come with their individual die and I cut them all out and then I'm going to place them over my page. So I don't think you need to see me colour them in. I think I've done previous videos on how to use these markers but there are so many more information and links at the couturecreations.com.au website. So once I've coloured them all in, I've cut them all out. I'm going to stick this in the insert page inside so using all these products, I've created a wonderful page. I've used the Stays in Place ink pad, chocolate sprinkles, mint green and forest green to do my stamping. I cut out the leaves and the flowers by colouring in with and colouring in with the alcohol ink markers and outline ink pad. And I'll cut some words in black from the Homely Floral sentiment die sets and I've created this page and put it all together. I've just used some adhesive glue. I'm using the really fantastic quick dry adhesive glue which dries so quick for all my projects. So I'd like to thank you for joining me here today. I hope you inspired you to create with all these wonderful products from Couture Creations. Please look down below after all the list of all the products I've used, all the colours of my alcohol inks and markers and stays in place ink pads. I have also a link to my blog, to Couture Creations blog. I wish you all a great day. Let's celebrate the little things because little things really matter. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press the subscribe button just down below and give this a big like if you like to see more videos that I create. Thanks for watching.